Hey dudes, today I want to talk about one of my favorite features in Pro Tools, which is called Preview Mode. Now, keep in mind, this only exists in the highest version of Pro Tools, which at the time of this recording is called Pro Tools Ultimate. If you don't have Pro Tools Ultimate, you cannot use this feature, but if you do, let's jump right into it. All right, so I have a couple of dialogue clips here and I'm gonna show you a few ways that I use preview mode. So basically what this is here is a phone call between me and a buddy and we're talking about my YouTube channel. So just these clips here are telephone calls and these clips are not. And then this clip is also a telephone call over here. So we're gonna wanna change the EQ of that section but if I just change the EQ here across the whole track, well, I'll do it in read mode so nothing's automating right now. I'll go to special effects and go cell phone. So move this here and we can listen to the first clip. Here's some dialogue at the end of the scene that I do not want to affect with any EQ whatsoever. Okay, so it's the end of the last scene. I didn't want any EQ. Hey, dude, what's up? Not much, dude. I'm just checking on your YouTube channel. How's it going? So that's good. So this part is good. This part's not good. Once I get to here. That will be in the next scene. And again, I do not want this to have any of the phone EQ. Okay, so we can't do that. We can't do it across the whole track. You may have in the past just duplicated this track, made a track with its own EQ and called it like DX phone and dropped everything into DX phone. Uh, that's okay, that's one way to kind of creatively problem solve around that, but you're taxing Pro Tools harder and harder every time you do that. And the bigger projects you work on, you're gonna have like 20 of these extra tracks for no reason when we could just use preview mode instead to fix this problem. So let's go back. I'm just going to alt drag my fresh EQ into there and we're in read mode. The first thing that we need to do is change to an automation mode like touch. So let's get both of our dialogue tracks into touch mode. The second thing we need to do is engage the preview window. So if we go to window and automation, we can bring up this handy tool right here. So in this window we can turn preview on and off by clicking here uh, there of course are other options in this menu but the main two things we're going to worry about is turning preview mode on and then using this right automation to selection all right so i have preview mode on and now all i need to do is go to any plugin send whatever that i want to change so in this case, I wanna to go to EQ because I wanna change that. And I'm gonna change the preset to special effects cell phone. And you'll notice a really important thing happens here. My touch mode has turned green. That means nothing has happened. In fact, if I click preview mode again, you'll see that my EQ loses the preset that I selected and this turns back to white with the red touch. So I'm gonna do it again, but this time I am going to actually write it. So that's always a safety valve. If you mess up in preview mode, then you can just simply unselect it. It doesn't remember anything, which is great. But in this case, I want it to remember something and I'm gonna write it. So here is my plugin again. I'm gonna to go to cell phone under special effects turns green. Now everything in this track will sound like that EQ. However, I just want to select from this moment to this moment and highlight specifically where I want this EQ to be written. Simply go over to manual write and write automation to selection. So it's in the title of it. I've created a selection. I'm going to hit write and it will tell you that the value of all previewing controls has been written. Great. To check our work, we can click on this clip and you can see that the plugin does not have any EQ on it. At the end of the scene that I do not want to affect 
or I should at least say it doesn't have that phone EQ on it. Whereas if I click here, Checking on your YouTube channel. How's it? it does have the EQ. And if I go beyond the place where my original selection was like to here in the next scene, and again, we're clean and we're good to go. All right, so you can also use this across multiple tracks. So I'm just gonna do a Command C, Command V, just to get two clips over here. So what I'm gonna do now is add reverb via ascend to these two clips over here. So it's as simple as going to my DX verb, bringing that send up a little bit. Again, I'm in preview mode and it's proving that because my touch automation is turning green later in the movie and I wanna use the same EQ. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add that reverb. I'm happy with it. Let's say I even wanna type in 12 so that I can also go down to this verb and type in the exact amount at 12. And then all I need to do is make a selection for the in and out. I do not need to go like this to ride across both of the tracks. That is unnecessary. I just literally need to go, here's my out point, here's my in point, because anything that is green means I've touched it. And then anywhere within the selection, it's going to write those parameters that I changed. So let's double check this theory by write automation to selection. Hit OK. And I will put this in target mode and I will also open up this and put it in tar target mode. So you can see both of the sends that I created here. If I go over here, they're both off. If I go over here, they're both off. If I go on anywhere where I created that selection and wrote, they are both on. We're in the movie and I wanna use the same. I do not wanna affect with any EQ whatsoever. Great. So that proves that we can do it across multiple tracks. Another way to use preview mode is to undo something that you don't like. So if we listen to this clip, here is another phone call later in the movie and I wanna use the same EQ. Okay, so this is supposed to be a phone call, but I accidentally added the reverb to it. So no problem, I can just open up the reverb send. I can turn it all the way off, make a large selection and make sure I write over all of my mistakes. Hit write. Hit OK, we'll play it again. There's another phone call later in the and it's back to not having any reverb on there and we corrected the problem. So there you go, we can do something creative or if we made a mistake, we can fix it, no problem. So another function of preview mode is to copy plugin automation from one place to another place. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I hit play here, here is another phone call later in the movie. This is supposed to be a phone call. Now I could go back in and I could redo my EQ or I can go to an EQ where I like it. So I selected the EQ of DX2 and I went to a moment where I want to copy and I'm going to hold Shift and Command and then I'm gonna hit C and I'm gonna go over to where I want to paste it. And I will show you that I am in the EQ for DX1 now, and I'm gonna hit Shift Command V. Copied and pasted my plugin information. And for confirmation, we can see that we are still green because we're in preview mode. So now I just need to decide where I want to write it. And remember, all I gotta do is click that to write it, and we're good to go. So we'll just double check if I click over here. Really helps out the channel. Okay, that's clean audio. Go back over here. Here is another phone call. And it's got the phone call audio on it. So this works with pretty much anything that you can touch. So I'm gonna give a cautionary tale. Sometimes you might go, well, I just wanna write while it's playing. And the problem with that is that you could accidentally write to the entire track. Feel free to work in real time, turn things up and down, change the EQ, change reverb. You can literally touch whatever you want, but just make sure that while you're still in green mode, you stop, 
make a selection, and then write. If you don't do that, you run the risk that you could write this across the entire track. And the whole point of preview mode is just to, you know, change a certain section to the way that you want it to be as opposed to the whole track. So one more thing to just keep in mind when you're doing preview mode, stop, make your selection, then write. All right, so that's pretty much it. The only other thing I want to say is that keep in mind, this will not remember change in automation. So if you wanted a reverb to increase or a volume to increase or a pan to go from right to left or something like that, preview mode is not what you're looking for. Just simply get out of preview mode and then touch in real time what you're trying to do and it will remember that move over time and remember the change of that move. What preview mode does is it remembers the last thing that you touched, then you make the selection, then you write it. So you got to use both modes when you're working on your project, but this is a very important mode to use. And now you know that you don't need to make a million different tracks to achieve what you're looking for. You can just pop it in preview mode and change this section, change that section, bada beep, bada boop, you're good to go. I hope you get to use this on all your projects and I hope it's helpful. And until next time, later dudes.